Breaking the silence right now, hundreds are taking a hard look at the many struggles and issues facing teens and young adults as well. Let's go to News 4's Edward Birch. He's live at Brentwood United Methodist Church. Edward, these really aren't easy conversations to have or topics to discuss as well. Certainly not, Alan, but the folks that are here today, they at least want to try and start to have those conversations. Right now, several people are broken up into small groups. They're having those discussions right now behind closed doors. The hope here is that everyone will take what they've learned and go out and share it with others. Organizers of today's Breaking the Silence event say many teens and young adults suffer from common issues, whether it be trauma, anxiety, depression. Experts are really here to help educate teens, family, and community members about how these issues can actually overlap, resulting in substance abuse, bullying, and self-destructive tendencies. The goal is to show how to get help and continue the conversations in their own homes, schools, and communities. The teen brain, as we know, is very different than the adult brain. Uh, it's under construction, and we need to be able to not lecture them out, not scare them out, not ignore their problems. We need to bring them into the conversation and help them to learn about what's going on beneath the surface. Now, today's event features several keynote speakers, breakout sessions, and one-on-one -on -one workshops like the ones going on right now. Now, tonight at 10, we take a look at how breaking the silence can ultimately save lives and how it's never too late to start the conversation. Alan. All right, Edward, thank you.